Hello and welcome everyone. I am your science teacher Himrita Chandulia. Students, today we are going to complete chapter number 11 of class 8 science that is force and pressure. Students, we already have discussed this chapter in our previous videos. Today we are going to discuss and solve the question answers of this chapter which are given in our textbook. Okay. So students, let's begin with question number 1. Read the questions carefully and answer them. Question 1 is give two examples each of situations in which you push or pull to change the state of motion of objects. You have to give two examples students okay for each situation. So first the two examples of push force are as follows. The first one is a heavy box at rest is pushed to move it from one room to another this changes the state of motion of the box is it clear everybody next example of this situation is a player pushes a football using his foot this changes the state of motion of the ball to ye hamari first condition ke liye hua. second situation kya hai the two examples of pull force are as follows the first example is rope is pulled to draw water from the well this changes the state of motion of the water bucket pani khechte hain kuhen mein se okay second one a drawer is pulled to open it this changes the state of motion of the drawer so both situations examples are clear to everybody move to the next question class and next question is give two examples of situations in which applied force causes a change in the shape of an object first question mein kya tha? there is a change in the motion of the object and here there is a change in the shape of an object okay so the two examples of forces that cause a change in the shape of an object are as follows first example is squeezing a plastic bottle changes the shape of the bottle Aap when you purchase market se water bottle purchase karte hain, and after uh, using it you just squeeze the bottle okay bot uh, bottle ka jo shape hota hai, wo kya hota hai? Kharab ho jata hai. this is the example because this is the object ka jo shape hai, wo kya ho gaya hai? change ho gaya hai. okay second example deformation of clay by pressing it between the hands Bacha party, you are playing with clays, different different color clays and you are just preparing many objects from that clay and for preparing different different shapes, you are pressing the clay between your both hands. This is the change in the shape. Is that clear? So both the examples are clear to everybody. Move to the next question class and next question is very easy. It is fill in the blank and the following statements. Read each and every statement carefully class 8. First one is to draw water from a well. We have to dash at the rope. What we have to do? We have to push it or we have to pull it. It's pull. So fill it here pull okay second one a charged body dash and uncharged body towards it yes a charged body a uncharged body ko apni taraf attract karti hai or repel karti hai it attracts so fill here attracts okay class 8 next fill in the blank to move a loaded trolley, we have to dash it. Ab hum usse push bhi kar sakte hai aur hum usse pull bhi kar sakte hai. So, we have to fill here to either pull or push it. Clear? Hum usse push bhi kar sakte hai, hum usse pull bhi kar sakte hai. The next one, the north pole of a magnet 
dash the no north pole of another magnet students you already know that opposite poles of magnet attracts each other and same poles repels each other so fill here repels all the fill in the blanks are clear to everybody move to the next question class and next question is question number 4 an archer stretches her bow while taking aim at the target she then releases the arrow which begins to move towards the target based on this information fill up the gaps in the following statements using the following terms situation kya hai ek archer hai wo kya karti hai target पे निशाना साधती है ठीक है और उसके लिए वो क्या करती है वो स्ट्रैच करती है ठीक है एंड फाइनली शी रिलीज द एरो टू द टारगेट द सिचुएशन इज क्लियर अब इस सिचुएशन के बेसिस पे यू हैव टू फिल द फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स एंड फॉर फिलिंग द स्टेटमेंट्स फॉर फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स ऑप्शन आर ऑलरेडी हि so what are the option students muscular contact non contact gravity friction shape attraction okay read each and every statement okay first one to stretch the bow the archer applies a force that causes a change in its yes there is change in its shape so fill here shape Okay next one the force applied by the archer to stretch the bow is an example of dash force read it again the force applied by the archer to stretch the bow is an example of muscular force right here muscular ठीक है muscles use कर रही है अपना movement okay move to the next fill in the blank and next statement is the type of force responsible for a change in the state of motion of the arrow is an example of dash force ठीक है is it clear अब वो कौन सा force हो सकता है it is contact or non contact अब फ्रिक्शन एंड ग्रेविटी तो होगा नहीं बच्चा सो इट इज अ कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स फिल हियर कॉन्टैक्ट फाइन नेक्स्ट वन वाइल द एरो मूव टूवर्ड्स इट्स टारगेट द फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन इट आर ड्यू टू डैश एंड दैट ड्यू टू डैश ऑफ एयर यस इट इज फर्स्ट वन इज it is due to of gravity and and that due to of dash of air it is of friction so write down friction fine all the statements are clear to everybody move to next question class and next question is question number 5 in the following situations identify the agent exerting the force and object on which it acts fine state the effect of force in each case here we are having few cases in this question we have to find out the agent which is exerting the force on that object okay the first one is squeezing a lamp a piece of lemon between the fingers to extract its juice ghar mein nimbu ki shikanchi banayi hai na sab bachcho ne jab hum nimbu ko squeeze karte hain nimbu ko nichodte hain to hum force kahan laga rahe hain lemon pe the piece of lemon and we are applying the muscular force isn't it so in squeezing a piece of lemon we make use of muscular force to extract its juice this muscular force acts on the lemon it's so easy okay next one take out paste from the toothpaste tube 
रोज करते हैं सब बच्चे ब्रश पेस्ट निकालते हैं ब्रश पे अप्लाई करते हैं अगेन वी आर यूजिंग वॉट मस्क्यूलर फोर्स फाइन वी यूज आर मस्क्यूलर फोर्स टू टेक आउट पेस्ट फ्रॉम द ट्यूथ पेस्ट फाइन द मस्क्यूलर फोर्स एक्ट्स ऑन द टूथ पेस्ट ट्यूब समझ में आ गया एज अ रिजल्ट द शेप ऑफ द ट्यूब गैट्स चेंज इज इट क्लियर एवरीबडी नेक्स्ट वन अ लोड सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम अ स्प्रिंग वाइल इट्स अदर एंड इज ऑन अ फिक्सड टू अ वॉल ओके आपका एक स्प्रिंग है जिसमें आपने डाउनवर्ड क्या कर रखा है एक लोड है आपने वो लगा रखा है ठीक है तो इससे क्या होगा स्प्रिंग स्ट्रैच होगी तो देयर इज चेंज इन स्प्रिंग ओके हेयर द सस्पेंडेड लोड एग्जर्ट अ फोर्स ऑन द स्प्रिंग एंड पुशेज द स्प्रिंग डाउनवर्ड्स एज ए रिजल्ट द स्प्रिंग गैट स्ट्रैच हैंड्स इट्स शेप गैट्स चेंज it's very easy students and students always remember the type of force and where it is exerting the force it's clear move to the next one and next case is an athlete making a high jump to clear the bar at a certain height okay here an athlete pushes the ground with his feet and by his feet he is applying the muscular force on ground okay his feet exert a muscular force on the ground and this allows him to jump over the bar and which is marked at a certain height as a result his state of motion gets changed clear move to the next question class and next question is question number 6 a blacksmith hammers a hot piece of iron while making a tool okay how does the force due to hammering affect the piece of iron आप सब बच्चों ने देखा होगा ये जो आयरन स्मिथ होता है ये आ, लोहे के एक गर्म पीस पे जब अपने हैमर से चोट करता है तो वो उसको तब तक उस आ, हैमर करता रहता है जब तक वो अपना डिज़ायर्ड शेप गेन नहीं कर लेता तो यहाँ पर कौन सा फोर्स किस पे अप्लाई हो रहा है स्टूडेंट्स हेयर वेन अ ब्लैक स्मिथ हैमर्स अ हॉट पीस ऑफ आयरन he is using his muscular force okay he uses his muscular force this muscular force changes the shape of iron so that it can be given a desired shape or jisse wo apne desired tools banata hai fine move to the next question class an inflated balloon was pressed against a wall after it has been rubbed with a piece of synthetic cloth it was found that the balloon sticks to the wall what force might be responsible for the attraction between the balloon and the wall ye hamare liye bahut easy example hai jab bhi hum ghar mein birthday parties celebrate karte hain aur balloons phulate hain tab hum yahi karte hain usko deewar pe chipkane ke liye aap kya karte ho usko ya to aap usko apne hairs mein rub karte hain ya aap usko kya karte ho kisi bhi cloth pe synthetic cloth pe usko rub karte ho then it will get stick over the wall okay so here we have to write the answer on rubbing an inflated balloon with a piece of synthetic cloth it becomes charged ab wo charged body ki tarah behave karta hai a charged body attracts an uncharged body ye humne flinda blanks mein fill kiya tha okay when this charged balloon is pressed against a wall it sticks to the wall the force acting between the charged balloon and the wall is electrostatic force is that clear everybody fine move to the next question class and next question is name the forces acting on a plastic bucket containing water held above the ground level in your hand 
okay discuss why forces acting on the bucket do not bring a change in a state of motion it's very easy and you know that fine here we make use of muscular force to hold a bucket of water above the ground level sab bachcho ne pani ki balti bhar ke uthai hai na theek hai to hum jab pani ki bhari hui bucket uthate hain we are using what our muscular force fine ab this muscular force acts against the force of gravity that pulls the bucket towards the ground ye humne padha hai hamara jo earth ka gravity wo har cheez ko apni taraf attract karti hai the two forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction therefore the net force on the bucket is zero aur isiliye hamari balti kya hoti hai girti nahi hai hence there is no change in its state of motion is that clear everybody move to the next question class and next question is a rocket has been fired upwards to launch a satellite in its orbit name the two forces acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad you have to write down the name of the forces here the two forces acting on the rocket are force of gravity which pulls the rocket towards the ground and the second one is the force of friction due to earth's atmosphere which opposes its motion dono forces clear hai first one is the force of gravity and second one is the force of friction clear move to the next question class and next question is when we press the bulb of a dropper with its nozzle capped in water air in the dropper is seen to escape in the form of bubbles okay once we release the pressure on the bulb the water get filled in the dropper the rise of water in the dropper is due to students you all know ki hamara dropper kaisa hota hai aisa hota hai aur yahan par ye aisa plastic ka hamara wo hota hai hum kya karte hain is beaker mein water hai hame ye dropper se water ko और ड्रॉपर में वाटर फिल करना है तो हम क्या करते हैं यहाँ से प्रेस करते हैं और जैसे ही हम इसके ऊपर से इसको प्रेस करते हैं हम यहाँ देखते हैं कि ये इसके अंदर जो एयर होती है इट एस्केप आउटसाइड एंड व्हेन द एयर इज एस्केपिंग हियर वी आर हैविंग बबल्स फाइन और उसके बाद क्या होता है आपका बीकर में से पानी आपकी ड्रॉपर में ऊपर आ जाता है सो द क्वेश्चन इज द राइज ऑफ वॉटर इन द ड्रॉपर इज जस्ट ड्यू टू प्रेशर ऑफ वॉटर ग्रेविटी ऑफ द अर्थ द शेप ऑफ रबर बल और द एटमोस्फियरिक प्रेशर एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज एटमोस्फियरिक प्रेशर सो विद दिस क्वेश्चन the exercise part of this chapter completes here and with the exercise part the chapter also complete okay write down all the question answers in your science register or notebook and learn them very soon we will again meet in the next chapter's video till then take care everybody and thank you